Hello children, this is Grandma Carla, and this is Skylark Patri by P Patricia McLaughlin. This is chapter 14. We only have two chapters left. The August sun rose red, then turned gold. It touched the flowers of the ants' gardens, the beds of late roses, the nasturiums and the asters. Geese flew in, sitting calmly on the water. A boat with two masts and a tall sail slipped by. Caleb went fishing with William and came home with two fish. Flounder, said William, smiling at us, but Caleb didn't smile. In the afternoon, we walked by the water, Aunt Lou and Sarah and Caleb and I. Caleb threw sticks for Brutus, who brought them back along with big rocks and seaweed and whatever else came up with the tide. We began to walk up the path again, Caleb carrying sticks, Sarah stopping to pick a, hand, a hat full of rose hips. A fisherman pulled up lobster, pot, lobster pots in the cove, and then suddenly Caleb straightened and looked past me to the top of the hill. He didn't speak, but his lips moved. What? I asked him, and I turned to see a figure standing there, looking out at the sea. Caleb's mouth opened, and he dropped all his sticks. Papa! I leaned closer to hear him, and then he shouted, Papa! Papa! He began running up the hill, calling Papa's name over and over, and I saw Papa turn at the sound of Caleb's voice. I ran too, Sarah running behind me, and I began to cry. Papa! Caleb ran into Papa's arms, and Papa held him close. Papa picked me up too, and my hat fell off, and I buried my face in his neck. Papa looked at Sarah. It rained, he said. He smiled at her. I never thought you'd come, whispered Sarah. It rained, Papa said again, his voice so soft that it could have been the wind that I heard. Caleb sat on Papa's lap, and there were fireworks, Papa, and lots of them. How big are the kittens? Big, like you, said Papa, smiling. He touched Caleb's face restless like you. Do you want to eat something, Jacob? asked Aunt Harriet. Harriet's solution to the problems of the world, said Aunt Lou, making Papa smile. No, thank you, said Papa. I couldn't eat. Caleb slid off Papa's lap. Papa stood, looking out over the water. No one spoke. That sound, Papa whispered after a moment. The sea, said Sarah. Papa turned to look at her. She touched his arm and walked off down the path to the water. Papa looked at Caleb and me quickly, and then he followed her. Caleb started to walk after Papa, but I reached out and I took his hand. Caleb, I said softly. Where are they going, Caleb asked. They'll come back, I said. It's all right, Caleb. Caleb and I stood and watched Sarah and Papa walk down the hill. They stopped, they talked, and then after a moment, Papa put his arms around Sarah. I smiled. It's all right, I whispered to Caleb. That night, after Aunt Harriet and Aunt Lou had played music for Papa and Aunt Maddie had danced, we walked down by the water and then Sarah and Papa told us that in the spring we would have a new baby. A real baby? asked Caleb, excited. A real baby, said Papa. Our baby, said Caleb, smiling. Sarah saw my face, and I knew, and she knew I was worried. Worried because Mama had died when Caleb was born. It will be fine, she told me. I am healthy. The baby's healthy. The doctor said so. I looked at Papa. It will be fine, Anna, he said. Clouds passed, and the full moon spread out over the water. Papa put his arms around me. It will be fine. And it will be wonderful, he said. This is Grandma Carla, and I love you.